welcome back to the Underground Podcast, the number two podcast in the world. Uh, straight off the bat, I know what you're thinking. What's going on here? I'm sitting on a sofa, and yet, yes, I'm in different scenery. Normally, obviously, I'm in the other, the actual Underground Podcast set. If you didn't already know, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, turn on on post notifications. You should be subscribed, but if you're not, there's a big problem we need to deal with. But hopefully you are, so that's good. Let's move on with the video. Right, the reason why, and I was talking to my brother about this the other day, my normal podcast set is actually in my kitchen. I was thinking, that is that, that is odd. That is, I think I need to change it up, and let me know what you think about this style. We can just have just a little laid-back talk, you know, but, but let me know what you think. Do you prefer the sofa talks? Maybe I should change the name of the podcast. I don't know. The podcast, we've got done a lot of episodes. We've had no guests. What's good? If you want to be a guest on the, on the almost said impulse of the Jesus Christ, no, that's number one. I can't take... Logan style off that, uh, copyright, but if you want to be on the podcast, please let me know in the comments down below, and also hit up my social medias, ask me, do you, if you've got anyone you know, if you just want to be a guest, if you want to be a permanent co-host, talking about whatever topics you want, including sports, including, you know, football, boxing, just politics, social media, anything in the new celebrities we can talk about, and we're gonna, it's going to be a good time on the show. So hopefully I get a lot of inquiries about it now because I've stressed it too much. If you're wondering where the plant is, the plant that I have on, that I'm, uh, funny I say that, supposed to, quotation, supposed to uh, water. I don't know where it's gone. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know like, at this point what, what's happened with it. I watered it a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, man, it's been a minute. It's been three weeks since I've made a podcast episode and I was consistent with it. I was posting... Every single Sunday, then something happened. Uh, what happened was I think I went to Leeds, in Manchester, um, for like a week, I know, a week and a half, two weeks, and I just sort of slacked off the day, and I just, ah oh, man, I was in a mess, and I was getting my YouTube channel sorted out for new content. But we are back, all right. Every single Sunday, watch out on your head top. It's probably Monday by the time you're watching this because it's very late. I, I doubt I'm going to be able to get this out in time. But nevertheless, what's been happening over the last few weeks? Main topic, major bag, get a round of applause, major bag, I've just realised, KSI versus Logan Paul, two, I almost held up four fingers there, that's weird, two, the rematch has been confirmed, and I know we covered this a little bit a few weeks, maybe like a few weeks ago, a month ago, probably the last episode, whenever that was, years ago, yeah, when the Ice Age was probably, no, but you obviously, I was, there was like talks of it, and I was saying my predictions and stuff, and why they should have a rematch, but now it's actually confirmed, obviously, if you want to see my video, go click on my channel, there'll be a video there, where I talk about the whole Logan and KSI uh, rematch thing, and also watch the trailer, obviously the trailer's been released, all the press has been released, the press conferences, and yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it, the press conference, I believe, I'm reading now, is on September the 14th, uh, in LA, of course, and I guess they'll have the one in the UK, which I'm looking forward to that because the UK one, they go hard, they don't give a shit, man. Like, honestly, uh, I don't, oh, can I say shit? I just realized, but the last time I've done one of these podcasts, I wasn't monetized, and I'm monetized. What a good transition that is. I've hit over a thousand subs. I thank you all, all right, for a thousand subscribers. We're gonna go off a bit of a tangent here before we talk about, um, the K Actually, no, we're going to talk about the KSI and Logan. That's what you want. That's the meat and the juice you came here for. So I made a video on it, so I'm not going to cover too much things and repeat myself. But obviously, it's a pro fight now. No head guards. I'm pretty sure that was Eddie Hearn's idea. Eddie Hearn is jumping in on it a lot. Even all these boxers now, Anthony Joshua fucking with it. They are making interviews. But yeah, man, like I'm excited for this because people at first, in the first like ever fight like versus Joel or even the Logan one thought this is like a YouTube sort of joke. But they're professional fighters now. Ten, they went from 12 ounce gloves, I have to press this, down to 10 ounce gloves, which means, and no head guards, which means somebody's getting knocked the fuck out. Like, with that power that they both hold, because even though they're not professional boxers, they still have, they have power. you got to understand that. Anyone can have power, and they got their natural, they are both gifted, and they've trained hard, like boxers would. They've been in camps, so they're ready. And I've said my predictions, I think, even though... It's tough. It's going to be very tough. It's going to be a sludgy match. But was, although, and it is six rounds, I wanted it to be 12 rounds. Like, what's good about professional matches? Professional fights should be 12 rounds. But, you know, you've got a six round one. But then again, they are begin they're still beginners in the pro fight industry, if that makes sense. But I think KSI is going to win this one. I think it's going to be not going to be easy at all. Because Logan's had more training. He's trained. Logan is going to get his fitness. Logan is going to use that right hand. But KSI is going to learn to jab more. He's going to learn to keep his arms up. And I reckon, I reckon he's got this in the bag. He, he's, he's just got that given... I feel like he's going to dig deep and he's got that more given talent. 
Now, moving on to my YouTube channel, 1,000 subscribers. I can't say thank you enough. The last few weeks, I've just had so many messages, and I'm still getting back to you today. Even today, I was going through messages on different social media platforms on my videos. It was hard to keep up with, but I always try to get back to every single one of you. I appreciate the support. I really do. Uh, it's not, no, it's not, no need for a sob story here from me, but I do love every single one of you. And I'm not just saying that ironically or cle like the cliche, just so you can buy my merch, which you can't even buy this. But if you do want to buy some merch, let me know in the comments. I might be dropping these hoodies and some t-shirts and a shop and website maybe. But yeah, no, I do really do appreciate everything because you know, I remember when I was like just starting off. I'm, I'm, let's be honest, I've been doing this over, like near enough 10 years. 2010, I created my channel. It's been nine years in and out of YouTube, trying different things. But I finally got into that algorithm and learned, you know, how to actually grow and succeed on YouTube. And it's been tough for me. Like, I know you, like you can people are gonna criticize me. There's been there's been channels that have blown up in a month. You know, like there's been these people, these creative people, but. What you gotta understand for me is I was there from the beginning. I was like an OG. I was watching YouTube in like 2007, like near enough around the time where it started when all the only small YouTubers were there, not even making money. And I've all my life, even before YouTube, I was making like family videos at Christmas. I was always making content. It was weird, even though it's not for YouTube. I was always grabbing a camera and like almost vlogging myself and making funny little clips of like my cat and just random things. And I've always been that entertainer. <laughs> Ironically, born entertainer on the sleeve, uh, and yeah, just love making people laugh. I love the enjoyment from it, and I pre I understand, and I also really love the fact that all you people enjoy what I enjoy because I want to I enjoy making more videos. You're the reason why I make it. You motivate me when you're on my back saying make videos when I'm slacking, and there's good content coming on the way. Now, talking about good content, it is a good transition. Sylvester, St Sylvester Stallone, and Rambo. Let's talk about that. First of all, Sylvester Sloan, I met him. If you didn't see my recent video, I'm kind of gutted. It was a banger of a video. It took me like a day to edit. As you know, like my, I've got editors, but that video I wanted to edit myself. My editors were a bit, was a bit busy with things, so I've done that one. But I thought, really thought that video was going to bang, that I met my celebrity idol, Sylvester Stallone. I went to the event. It was a lot of money, I've got to say. I'm going to disclose it. Do you know what I'm just going to say now? It was, it was 1.5k. Like, I'm not going to play around. I said in the video, I'm not going to say, but... On the on the channel on the um, underground podcast, we're gonna be real, all right? No messing about. It was 1.5k. Obviously, I didn't pay all of it. Thanks. Shout out to my dad. I love my dad. He actually paid it for me. Um, and I was lucky enough to go there, and it was just an amazing night. Like we had drinks there, we had food. I made a video about it, so just go watch that video, share it, please. And it was unreal. And talking about uh, Sylvester Stallone, Rambo: Last Blood, 20th of September is coming out. I'm excited. The biggest Sylvester Stallone fan you can ever think of here. What's all the Rockies, all the Rambles, all his, you know, not so good, crappy films that did that well. I still think they're good, alright? But yeah, he's a very noble, inspirational, humble, wise guy. Like, he really is, not just saying it. Like, when he was talking on that stage, and obviously I met him, I took my picture with him, uh, which will be on my Instagram, follow my Instagram. And yeah, it's just overall an amazing night uh, to remember, because I wanted to meet him. He is getting old, but he's also looking very healthy for his age. He's still making movies. He's going to be about 19, his Zimmer frame making like Rocky 10, Rocky X, you never know. But yeah, that was amazing. Another thing to talk about, alright, is like Rambo, 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 Rambo 5, what's good? Like, I don't know how it's going to work, because he's not as athletic as he used to be, but then again, he might be training. It's going to be interesting, the trailer looks hella, hella interesting, and they're bringing it way back. To like maybe like first blood sort of feel. So I'm looking forward to that. Moving on. I don't think I actually mentioned this in my podcast or my videos. I think I did on my Twitter. I tweeted. But PewDiePie hit about a million. A hundred. I said a, I said a thousand. Then nearly said a million. Am I, what, am I, am I a dumbass? He hit her 100 million subscribers. What's good? Biggest YouTube. Biggest YouTube YouTuber on the planet. Fuck T-Series. They're not a YouTube channel. They're just an organisation. Alright. It's like saying like. Donald Trump Foundation or like Nike. It's not like a a YouTuber. He's the biggest YouTuber. And what I love about him is he just keeps going. Even at I remember at fifty million, he was sort of like not plateauing. He was like he was sort of like just going in a straight line and just not peak yeah, it was at his peak at, like and he sort of just went and didn't get that many views and then he just kept on doing what he'd done no matter who told him what and he sort of did shift his content a little bit more to comedy and sort of like commentary channel because he used to be gaming and he still does a bit of gaming and he somehow he somehow made it, alright, and you know, 
I just love that guy. Ma amazing guy. You can just see he's humble, and he that's what you, that's what you, humble people make it far enough. I've got to say that. I've got to preach that message. Uh, moving on, YouTube trending page. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna make a bit. I'm be making a video about this. You know, I might come make a video after this because I'm fired up. I think people are just shying away from it. What is good of the YouTube trending page? It's not normal. I mean, uh, the exception is the Sidemen videos. Everyone knows the Sidemen, obviously. The UK, I'd argue even the world's biggest YouTube group. Other than Faze, obviously. The Sidemen, they've been getting number one trending or one or two spots, like every time they upload a video, which they deserve. That's the only exception I'd say, and their videos are banging videos, and there's, there's a few other YouTubers, but... Some of the videos that are on trending are just unfathomable. To fathom, fathomable. Fa am I even talking English? To my, I can't compute in my head, like how it's just getting very mainstream. And I've talked about this a lot. It would just be like, I feel like on trending page as much as it is YouTube nowadays and it's commercialised and stuff. And it's basically, it's basically about trying to be TV. Is what I'm trying to say. It's like highlights of football matches and tennis and basketball. Like I understand that. I should be in like a sports section. Like they need to have YouTube sports. Am I a genius? Like, why has no one thought of YouTube sports? They have YouTube kids, I think, on YouTube. They need they have YouTube original. They need YouTube sport. Or they need to put it in sections because YouTube should be. I'm not dictating what it should and shouldn't be, but realistically, it started off as the YouTubers making funny videos, and I feel like there's not enough good YouTubers being recommended on the trending page. If I'm being honest, but then again, that's down to YouTube. They're doing their thing. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up there. Because it's been about 10 minutes, I'm going to get my money. <laughs> uh, joking. Anyone that knows, I've talked about it to my subscriber. 100,000 subs... Why am I... I can't even speak today. 1,000 subscriber video, which i got a, a big video coming up soon with my 1,000 subscriber special. I'm like a proper video, not just that shitty one when I was talking about it. Um, what was I to go? I've gone on off on a tangent. Yeah, people think I'm making money. Bare, barely. Barely even enough to, to have a pop to piss in, if I'm being honest. Like... It's, but at the end of the day, I'm not bothered about that. Alright? If I get money, that's good. You know, we head into the Gucci store. No. I'm, it's Honestly, you can tell when someone does it for money and who doesn't. You can just tell by their character. And I hope you guys can see it through it. Like, well, obviously I've had a character before. But I just love doing this shit, even before. And all this shit, it wouldn't make sense me doing YouTube for this many years, not making money. If I, if I was all about the money, after a few years I'd give up. After a year I'd be like, I'm not making money. Let me go where somewhere else and make money. But I truly do love this. It's my passion. Trust me, there's easier ways to make money. People think YouTube is easy. It's really not. It is a lot of hard work, as Jay Swingler said once. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you guys for watching. I love your support. Chase your dreams. Strike your dreams. Be yourself. Be different. Be weird. Because, you know, sometimes in life you've got to be weird. Hit that like button. Oh my god, I'm tired. I don't even know what I'm saying. I need to go to bed. Hit that like button. Uh, if you did enjoy this podcast episode. If you want to see me be on the sofa more, just, you know just chilling out you know this is what we can do you know or and also hit that subscribe button if you're not also subscribed already like you yeah like i said from the start there's a problem if you're not hitting that subscribe button it's big red one it's free you're not doing it please do it hit the post notification bell too it's very important you hit that bell wherever it is on the screen you need to you need to hit it on your screen not hit it just click it obviously preferably uh and you get notified every time i upload which is daily thank you for watching i'll speak to you guys in a bit Now your vids hold no weight, like Titanic channel sinking to the ground Talking your piece on the web, karma always come around Eating up these W's, can't you see I have the crown? Feasting on you enemies, dead and buried in the ground Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around Put some respect on my name, you playing with the hounds I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds And I wonder why this hate or this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown